Hey, I'm Brandon Vineyard. I've been selling bank foreclosures for over 20 years. And today, we're gonna to talk about REO pocket listings. Okay, first things first, there is no such thing. Um, I get the concept because we're used to having pocket listings in typical real estate transactions, but when it comes to foreclosure, that's just not the case. And recently, I came across this video on YouTube, and after watching it, I thought, these guys are just pumping so much bad information out there. And all these investors, you know, whether you're experienced, whether you're new, whether you're trying to get into it, doesn't matter what part of the country you live in, but everybody wants to learn. And the worst thing is, is to get bad information. So let me explain what a pocket listing is, and then why that's not really the case when it comes to foreclosures. A pocket listing is any type of real estate listing that is retained by a listing broker or salesperson and not made available to other brokers in the office or to other multiple listing service members. A pocket listing may also be referred to as an off-market listing or exclusive listing. So a pocket listing is an exclusive real estate listing that is not available to the general public. Okay, it's for sale, but nobody knows. A single real estate agent generally handles a pocket listing. It involves either limited or no collaboration with other brokers. Sellers who ask for a pocket listing generally do for reasons of privacy or to sell to a specific individual. Okay, so let's think about foreclosures. Banks and the GSEs, your Fannie Mae's, your Freddie Macs. Now, if you think about it, these bigger companies, they all have shareholders or they have Wall Street, or like in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they have Congress on their backs and they have to report to these groups. They're never gonna have a property where they can't prove and show that they did everything in their power to get as much money for that property as possible. Having a pocket listing doesn't do that. That's why you see so many REOs in the market that have a kind of a first look period where you can't put offers till a certain date is passed. My number one client, it's 10 days. They will not entertain any offers for 10 full days. Uh, Fannie Mae, it was 17, I think it's now 21 maybe. So 17 to 21 days, they will not entertain any offers until that time period ends. And why is that? They want that property to get out there to the world, to get syndicated through all the websites that you know, are out there. They want it to just be in front of everybody so more people have an opportunity to place an offer. So they're trying to get as much money, they're trying to recoup as much money as they possibly can. You're not gonna see a pocket listing in a foreclosure unless possibly it's a very small bank in a small town somewhere that you know is servicing and funding their own loans, maybe. But in today's world, you're not gonna see it. None of your big companies are gonna have pocket listings. It just doesn't happen. So anytime you hear anybody talk about a pocket listing in a foreclosure, you know, uh-uh. That's just, that's ridiculous. So there's not a whole lot really to talk about because it's just not the case. Pocket listings don't exist. And if you're thinking you're going to call banks and get their listings before they go to agents and brokers, no, don't do it. The biggest mistake you can make is trying to call a lot of these bigger banks. Number one, if you can find the right person, good luck. Um, number two, they're just not going to talk to you because as soon as that property is foreclosed, they have assigned it to an agent somewhere and that agent's responsible. The banks are never going to deal with you directly. And I get them all the time where I'll get a message or I'll get an email from somebody within say BOA or Wells Fargo. Somebody has contacted them about a property and they've said to go to our listing agent and that's what you're going to face. So don't believe there's pocket listings and foreclosures. There's not, it doesn't happen and I hope this helps. If you like the video, make sure and like it, hit the subscribe button. And uh, as always, have a great day.